This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. Delighted to be joined by cool hand Luke Campbell down here in Sheffield. Luke, been a while since we had you on. How you been? It is, yeah, I've been good. Self? Good, thank you for asking. Now, before we come on to why you're down here, let's talk about you. What are you up to and how's retired life treating you as well? Um, yeah, good. Um, staying busy is, is easy. You know, I've, um, I've built a couple of gyms now, 24-hour gyms. Got a fantastic mem- membership base. Um, so I'm on to that. We're looking to build our fair gym in the next month or so. So that's keeping me very busy. Um, something I enjoy as well. Um, other than that, it's kids, it's family life bit of golf here and there I'm always still in the gym obviously because I own a couple so I'm, I'm always there in the gyms anyhow but you know no complaints I, des- I decided to retire because I wanted to be spend more time with the family and and that's what I do I was gonna say between the business ventures and, and being able to spend all that time with your family I know a lot of boxers struggle to fill that void when they walk away I'm guessing you don't really think about it at all do you yeah do you know what it's like there's a couple of weeks ago I thought, oh, do you know what, I'm doing good. Yeah, I've not really, I've had no blimps whatsoever and stuff like that. And then, like, a, a few days after that, it's like, I'm actually, I, I'm, I am really missing boxing, don't get me wrong. Um, you know, but I look at it, it's, it was my choice at the end of the day. So if I want to come back, it's still there. I still keep myself in shape. You know, I'll never say never, but... Um, at the moment, I guess it's I'm enjoying family life and busy doing a few business businesses that I'm running. And, and um, other than that's it. Luke, I've got to ask you about why you're here. You just watched uh, former stablemate Chris Billum Smith defend his European title. Awkward night's work for him, but ultimately a wide decision. What do you make of it? Yeah, do you know what? He had an hard opponent there. He's not as good looking as me, is he? No, in here. No, but oh, I'm, I'm I've, I've got more charisma. <laughs> you know, you've got to keep like a fucking paint, mate. Yeah, listen, catch you in a bit. Go on right, then, good looking. Nice to see you. All right, you too, mate. See you soon. As yeah. we were, yeah, Chris Billings. <laughs> yeah, I've got miles more charisma, by the way. <laughs> Personalities, like, bam. Yeah, Chris, um, I'll, whatever Chris fights, wherever he goes, I'll follow him and, and support him, cheer him on. He's, uh, he's an unbelievable guy, very good friend of mine. And you know, I just I want to see him succeed and and be the best and beat everybody that bo- he, he fights and you know it's, um, he supported me everywhere as well and was always a good friend to me in the gym. So yeah, it's nice. I've met I've met some some unbelievable people in my boxing journey and in the world of boxing and um, Chris is one of them. Luke, before I let you go, I wanted to get your thoughts on a couple of fights we've got coming up in the lightweight division. Things are starting to get moving again. We've got Lopez Combosos, finally all the date changes. Almost here, how do you think it plays out? Um, I, I see Lopez winning that fight, no problem. Uh, I watched Cambosa against uh, Lee Selby and to be honest with you, I wasn't that impressed. I wasn't that impressed with him. He talks a good game, but I, I think he's stepping out his, his, um, his league when he's fighting Lopez. We also had Devin Haney against Jojo Diaz announced. Devin Haney defenders WBC title. Thoughts on that fight, Luke? Oh, I think Devin Haney. Um, I think Devin Haney will, will school um, Jojo. Yeah, I think he'll school him. I've seen ba- uh, bits of him. I know he's a southpaw and stuff. Um, but I think he'll. I think he'll school him. Jojo's not. He's not a puncher or anything like that. He doesn't do anything special. He's, a, he's an all right fighter, but um, I, don't, I don't see him giving Haney any problems. Luke, last one from me, your old mate Vasily Lomachenko. He's got himself back in the ring in New York in December. He's been taking on Richard Comey. Um, what, do you, what do you make of the fight? Yeah, I think it's a good fight. Uh, Comey's a good fighter. Um, has pa- Cowers power. Got a, he's a durable fighter. You know, he's, um, Lomachenko in his last fight put an unbelievable performance in. Stopped a guy that coming off a fantastic win, never been stopped. So um, Lomachenko's coming back with a bang. Luca, uh, Alicia Baumgartner is just enjoying her world title celebrations if everyone's wondering what the noise is. Thank you for speaking to Boxing Social. I'm sure we'll catch you very soon.